beautiful morning. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, smash the like button so you guys don't miss a single video in our series, as well as if you're listening on podcast, I'm so glad that you're here. You guys probably found us on TikTok, and if you guys want to go ahead and follow there as well, I go live there on YouTube and on TikTok. So if you guys want to see more even long form content, you guys can get all of that right there. But today, guys, we're going to talk about the four reasons she's just not that into you. And I'm these, these videos, like I said, this is my first one or the first podcast that you're listening to. So what you guys are going to realize is that these aren't going to be that long, but I, I want to do them f- for like five to seven, eight minutes so that you guys can get enough information for the day and use these as a daily way to become better as a man in your fitness, finance, fashion, mindset, and mental, uh, mental health. So let's go ahead and talk about the subject today. Four reasons she's just not that into you. And the first reason she's just not that into you is because you're distracted by other women in your DMs and your brain is scattered. So let's talk about that for a second. There are a lot of people that add a bunch of people on Snapchat if they're on Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, etc. And I think that people who are what you would call serial dating like that uh, have a rather scattered mind because they're talking to too many people at once. Now, me personally, I think you should be talking to one person at a time, and once you feel like you've made a connection with somebody that you should probably go down that rabbit hole deeper, ask a ton of questions to see if that person is right for you or not, and if they're not, um, you just keep moving, it's not uh, not meant to be, but if it is, you can ask enough questions to get a feel for them, and then go ahead and ask for um, that first get together, that first date, so um, we'll talk about uh, that first date and the things that you should do um, another time. But that's the first reason is that you have so many people in your DM and that you're serial dating so much that you're so scatterbrained that you're not giving them the enough the enough attention that they deserve. So the number two, um, the number two reason is you don't ask enough questions. You guys should always say less than necessary, um, but ask unlimited questions to learn more about them. I just talked about that in reason number one. It's so important that you guys ask questions. It shows them that you care. It shows them that you want to learn more about them. It shows them depth, that you have some depth, that you're thinking about those things. You're thinking about things deeper than, hi, how are you? How was your weekend? You're thinking about and showing them what kind of person that you're looking for. And you're at, based on the questions that you ask, they can get a feel for you as well on the things that are important to you. And I think that's really important for people, especially on these dating apps or people who Um, haven't found um, that long-term relationship, if that's what you're looking for, asking these questions are a very very important part of this puzzle. And I think that's something that I'm going to talk about as well, is which questions um, that you could ask to engage in those deeper conversations to learn something more about them. Um, The third thing is that they they feel like you have some sense that you're playing um, some alpha manipulation mind trick on them and she really doesn't want to go through the mind games or play those games with people. Maybe she has been into four, five, six, seven, ten relationships or maybe she's serial dating um, just like you would be or just like you are um, if you're in that situation. If you're in that situation and you feel like somebody's playing a game with you, you're going to want to leave right away. There's, There's not going to be any games played. You've already had those games played you so many times. You're looking for somebody that's serious. And that's the whole reason I actually started this this TikTok account, this YouTube account, is because I saw so many fake alphas on TikTok. And these fake alphas on TikTok do absolutely ridiculous things. And they these these alpha TikTokers are telling a bunch of young men that are trying to date that they should ghost people, that they shouldn't tell their person that they, their crush that they like them. And these are absolutely ridiculous things because if you have your ducks in a row, if you're an authentic, self-disciplined, confident man, there is no reason that you shouldn't tell them. One, it's going to save you a lot of time. And two, you're going to actually see their intentions. You're going to see what their intentions are for you. If you guys are talking for you know a month or two and everything's going great, and then you tell her you tell her that you like you, and she doesn't like she doesn't like you back. That means she's not ready for the commitment. That means she's not ready for the, the 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 maturity that you have. If she's not mature enough, that's not your burden to bear. So don't worry about those things. And maybe she'll come back at another time, but you just have to focus on you first. And you have to make sure that you're you're trying to look for and be intentional and direct with them. 
so that they know exactly what you're looking for and exactly how you feel. And if they don't feel that way, that's not your burden to bear. And maybe they'll they'll find themselves and become mature enough and later down the road, if that person was truly meant for you, they'll come back into your life. But that's number three. All these psychological, you know, leave them on delivered, make them chase you kind of stuff is absolutely ridiculous in my opinion because it shows that you don't care. It shows that you think that you're, you're better than you are. And it, it ultimately just shows your immaturity. These fake alpha manipulation tactics are not the way to do this. And then the fourth thing is that you're pressing and you're forcing it. And what I think you guys should do is just let it flow and let the natural flow of enjoying each other's company take over. And then from there, you're going to be able to spark that relationship based on the way that you guys feel about each other, based on the questions that you that you ask, your values, um, your morals, and you know where you guys are both going towards. If those things align, you're going to have that person, she's going to like you a lot more. Guys, so those are the four reasons, the four things, um, for the four reasons right now she's not that into you. And you guys should really take a look inside. You guys should be really, really honest with yourself. Are you doing some of these things? Are you feeling some of these things? And if you are, go ahead and take a look inside and and ask yourself why you're feeling those 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 things. And then try to break that pattern in your brain. Try to break break those those thinking patterns because those thinking patterns are what ultimately develops you um, into the person you are right now. And thinking about those those thinking patterns and ultimately trying to reconstruct them is the way that you're going to change, especially with this subject, at, you know, as dating or um, trying to find that person for you in your life. So thank you guys so much. Angel here, Better Man Daily. Make sure you guys go ahead, subscribe, smash the like button. If you guys want to follow on TikTok or subscribe on YouTube, go ahead. If you're on the, if you're listening here on the podcast, thank you guys so much for listening on our podcast as well. Until next time, guys, all love, take care, talk soon. Angel, Better Man Daily, peace.